In this video, we're going to look at some examples of derivatives needing logs and implicit differentiation. Now, all of these problems are sort of non-standard, except for this one. And the rules that we're going to be making use of to solve these style problems um, are basically taking log on both sides and then using implicit differentiation to simplify the result. And we may need to be vigilant of when the product rule is needed and possibly the following rule will be useful to us. If you have two to the u and you differentiate, then the derivative is two to the u natural log of two u prime. So for example, for any base, b to the u prime is going to be b to the u times the natural log of b times u prime. And in this case, because we have to evaluate natural log here, Typically, we say that b is greater than zero. Now, you may want to derive this rule. That's sort of a pun. y is equal to b to the u, and this will require much the same technique as all of these. And so let's just do a run through of this rule here. You would take the natural log on both sides, which is the natural log of b to the u, and then using our exponent rule, this u come down to the front, and this will be equal to u times the natural log of b. Now, natural log of b is a constant. And so, when we differentiate, we treat it as a constant. This is natural log of y is equal to u times the natural log of b. And now, when we differentiate on both sides with respect to x, we treat this term here as a constant, which means it can move out of the derivative expression. So this is equal to u prime times the natural log of b. Now this derivative is one over y times y prime, and it's equal to u prime times the natural log of u. And so right away, we end up with this expression right here namely that y prime, which is equal to b of u prime, must be y, which is b to the u, times the natural log of b times u prime. So this rule right here has been derived. A very important problem is this one, y equals x to the x. And the worst possible mistake is to say y prime equals x times x to the minus one. This right here is just absolute death. Do not do that. What you have to do to solve this problem is take the natural log on both sides, like this. And then we can use our log rule to say x times the natural log of x. And that rule, you'll recall, is ln of u to the a is equal to a ln of u. So effectively, you can just think you take this exponent and bring it down in front, whatever it is. Now we have this equals this. We want to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So on the left hand side, we get one over y, y prime. And on the right hand side, we have a product rule. So x ln x plus x ln x. First we put the derivative on this term, then we put the derivative on this whole term. The derivative of x is one, so this becomes the natural log of x. The derivative of natural log of x is one over x. This is x times one over x, which is one. So this is the natural log of x plus one. Now we have one over y, y prime is equal to the natural log of x plus one. So we multiply the y to this side. y prime is equal to y times the natural log of x plus one. And remember that y is x to the x. So this is equal to x to the x times the natural log of x plus one. And this is the correct derivative. As a side remark, notice that when we take d dx of the natural log of y, our derivative is one over y, y prime. This comes from the differentiation rule, chain rule, the natural log of u prime is equal to one over u, u prime. In the special case that u is equal to x, we get one over x because one over x times x prime, this whole term is one. So this becomes just one over x.
In this problem, we are going to study the quantity x plus x squared to the power x cubed. The same technique as we used in the last problem holds in this case, where we take the quantity x plus x squared to the power x cubed and take the natural log precisely so that we can use this exponent rule comes down in front becomes multiplication. Now this is x cubed times the natural log of x plus x squared. And so there's no longer any question of how to take the derivative of this side. It's just going to be a product rule between these two terms. And this natural log term will be differentiated as one over u times u prime, the same as this term here. And so taking the derivative with respect to x on both sides, we have one over y times y prime is equal to three x squared times the natural log of x plus x squared plus x cubed times one over u u prime. So one over x plus x squared times one plus two x, right? Wrong. These parentheses here are absolutely essential. If you worried you, you might miss them, make it u over u prime instead of one over u, u prime. So this is in the numerator of this expression. Now we're ready to simplify. And so we write y prime is equal to y times the whole right hand side here, which is three x squared times the natural log of x plus x squared plus x cubed times one plus two x divided by x plus x squared. Now our y is equal to this term, so we substitute that and all the independent variables on the right hand side. x plus x squared times to the power x cubed times, this time I'm going to put this in the exponent here, so the natural log of x plus x squared to the power x cubed, 3x squared, sorry, 3x squared, I can put the parentheses like this, ooh, it's tough salvage there, plus x cubed times one plus two x divided by x plus x squared, close parentheses. And just to make a further remark on this term because it's a little unclear, this is the natural log of x plus x squared and then we're reverse engineering this exponential rule and putting it back up into the exponent here uh, for neatness. So this one, three x squared. It's very important that you recognize that this exponent is on this entire expression. For example, the natural log of x squared is equal to two times the natural log of x. But this is not equal to the natural log of x squared. This one is equal to the natural log of x times the natural log of x. This one is equal to the natural log of x times x. So these ideas are very different. In this next problem, we're going to differentiate a kind of unusual function, e to the two to the x. Now, this one, we have to start in much the same way as we did before, where we take the natural log on both sides. And we do this so that we can, again, use our exponentiation rule. This is e to the two to the x. Ooh, it's a tough recovery there. Now we do the same thing as we always do with our log rule, we take this exponent and bring it down in front like this. So this becomes two to the x times the natural log of e. And you might remember that the natural log of e is one. So we're graphing our logarithm, x and y, natural log of x, this one is zero and e is one. So now this becomes uh, the ddx of the natural log of y is equal to ddx two to the power x. And here we have one over y, y prime. And here we have this derivative. Now this derivative we solved right here at the very beginning. And this is a proof of the rule. It is two to the x times the natural log of two times x prime, which in this case is one. So we end up with y prime equals y times two to the x times the natural log of two, just bringing this y to this side of the equation. 
and then we back substitute our y for this term here. So we get e to the two power x times two to the x times the natural log of two. And no simplification is possible between these because the bases are different. So that's our answer. In this final problem, we actually have one of the easiest problems. And the answer you can write pretty much right away as two to the x plus x cubed times the natural log of two times one plus three x squared. This is setting u equals to x plus x cubed and du dx is equal to one plus three x squared. And we're using the rule that y equals b to the u implies that y prime is equal to b to the u times the natural log of b times u prime. Now I just want to take one more look at this rule, which is the main purpose of bringing this up again. Let's apply this rule in the context of this problem from first principles. So the natural log of y would be equal to the natural log of two to the x plus x cubed. And then we again use our log rule to bring this down in front. And we end up getting the natural log of y is equal to x plus x cubed times the natural log of two. Be careful with these parentheses here. Now we take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. So you can just say like this, this constant passed through the derivative. Remember natural log of two is just a constant. And so we have one over y times y prime is equal to one plus three x squared times the natural log of two. Then multiply this y to this side. Y prime is y times one plus three x squared times the natural log of two. Y is equal to two to the x plus x cubed. So this is equal to two to the x plus x cubed times one plus three x squared times the natural log of two. This is exactly the same result we got here, except the multiplication of these two terms is flipped. That will work because a times b is b times a. So we have two x plus x cubed times the natural log of two times one plus three x squared. And now this is the exact same as this.